Dudes in Indonesia are using a baldness cure to grow beards. We've all seen them. The thick, luxurious lumberjack beards that have sprouted on fashionable males from New York to London to Berlin and Sydney. It seems we finally reached peak beard, but thanks to genetics, it's a phenomenon so far limited to just about everyone who's, well, not Asian. Until now. Enter Fariz Gamal, and he's on a one-man mission to help his Indonesian brothers accentuate their masculinity through facial hair. And he's using a popular baldness cure to do it. Our hero's fascination with beards began when he noticed the facial hair trend gripping Europe and the US. Why should only his Caucasian cousins enjoy the masculine allure that a beard can provide? Fariz had made up his mind. A lush carpet of facial foliage. That's what makes a man. But as he grew despondent that his Asian DNA had put the promise of increased studliness cruelly beyond his reach, he suddenly discovered the solution. Cut Price Minoxidil, the popular hair regrowth serum, could be shipped to Indonesia directly from the US. Minoxidil is the go-to cure for men with male pattern baldness, but it also has a not-so-secret off-label use. It works on the face, too. Fariz quickly set up a business marketing the stuff through YouTube, Instagram, and chat apps for men across Indonesia. Not only has he made a killing, he says the stuff helped him get his current girlfriend. And his customers are happy, too. Social media is filled with before and after photos from fellas who've transformed using Minoxidil. So what do y'all think? If women can use anything under the sun to improve their looks, is it weird for men to do the same? Need more beard in your life? Let's get into it. Internet fame helped six-year-old men become a fashion model. Can you imagine this charming male model was a pensioner not so long ago? Here's his inspiring story. Six-year-old Philip Dumas lived in Paris. He transformed himself some seven months ago after the company he worked for went bankrupt. The most amazing thing is, he did it simply by growing a beard. At first, he thought the beard would look like a mess, but surprisingly, people actually liked it. This discovery led to him thinking, hey, maybe I can be a model. Dumas gained fame after a Reddit post of his stylish photos went viral. The photo series was initially shared on Imgur, which currently has almost 456,000 views. He then went to see modeling agencies. With his internet fame and the trendy beard look, he was successfully booked by six agencies. Dumas has over 9,000 followers on Instagram, with many praising how good he looks for his age. Do you want to turn your life around? Try growing a beard! James Harden becomes MVB with 200 million Adidas sneaker deal. The MVB, most valuable beard, in basketball just got even more valuable after Adidas reported the offered Rockets guard James Harden a 200 million 13 year endorsement contract to ditch rival Nike. coming off an amazing year where he dominated in the ugly middle ground, twisting and turning his body with every drive. He almost took home the score and title and was voted MVP by the players. With Stephon Curry snatched up by Under Amour and KD choosing to stick with the swoosh. Harden was the only superstar left for Adidas to poach. Adidas has been struggling with D. Rose's injuries and fallen to number three in the U.S. sports apparel market. But the best thing for Adidas is Harden loves to play dress-up. And then there's the Kardashian connection. 
Could someone say Yeezy? Nike has until the end of the year to match the offer. Who will fear the beard next year? Poop-loving bacteria found living in beards. Local news station KOAT7 in Albuquerque swabbed a bunch of beards and sent their collection to a microbiologist for testing. What they reported has some men reaching for the razor. Their beards may be as dirty as a toilet. The same bacteria that microbiologist John Golobic found in beards is also found in fecal matter. He identified the bacteria as Enterobacteriaceae, which normally lives in the intestines, so it's no surprise that it's found in poop. But how does it end up in men's beards? The truth is, enterics are found almost everywhere, such as your phone and computer keyboard. Think about all the money you touch, the doors you open, and the hands you shake. And then, you touch your beard. More important than washing your beard is washing your hands, and you should stop touching your face. This applies to kids, clean-shaven men, and women too. The bacteria of toilet bowls live all around you. And unless you live in a clean lab, even your toothbrush contains enterobacteriaceae. So relax, fellas. Your beards aren't really filled with poop. Well, no more than the rest of your daily items. Bearded woman considers shaving for wedding anniversary photos. Annalisa Hackelman suffers from polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a hormonal syndrome that causes excessive hair growth on an individual's body and face. Annalisa said she was diagnosed with the syndrome when she was 13 and was initially confused as to why people expected her to be ashamed of her facial hair. It wasn't until she was bullied and mocked by other students, as well as adults, behind her back that she decided to start shaving. Annalisa said she shaved as often as twice a day and developed agoraphobia, an anxiety disorder order associated with the fear of public places. Despite all that, Annalisa managed to meet her husband-to-be, David, five years ago, and when she considered growing out her facial hair, he supported her choice. Annalisa says she knows her husband doesn't love her facial hair, but he loves her and that's enough. Now, years later, after Annalisa has grown comfortable with her grown-out facial hair, she's considering shaving for the first time in years. The reason? Well, she thinks it'll make for better wedding anniversary photos. Our take is that she should do whatever makes her happy. After all, she can easily grow it back if the shaved look doesn't look good.